All right, guys, uh, welcome back to Home Built. And today I am doing something a bit different and I am doing the Adelaide Rally. We are here today in Adelaide and uh, I've driven over, you may have seen the last video of me driving through the floods, I've got over here and uh, we are driving in uh, the rally. It's a three day event where uh, it's closed roads, it's uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not in a competition category, I'm in a tour category with the uh, Porsche Club of South Australia and uh, I think it should be a heap of fun. Just. It's not, not uh, it's nothing too crazy, just there's a heap of cool cars here. I've got uh, Harry here all sticking up, and uh, um, Stu's here, and a bunch of other guys are still on their way. Uh, we'll walk around and have a look at some cars. I'm gonna be uh, driving with my brother, Keith. <laughs> He's my co-driver, so uh, yeah, hopefully uh, it should be some fun, and uh, you guys can come along for the ride. I really dig this thing. This thing is tiny and very cool. <laughs> that is awesome. That looks so good. Look at the exhaust just sticking out the back. Most of the tour competitors are here now. It's uh, it's really filling out. I think there's 300 cars or something going in the event. We've had our tour briefing, so we're just uh, about to get in the cars now and uh, have some fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. All right, well, uh, we are just coming up to the first stage now. We've just uh, done a bit of a commute stage through Adelaide and we're now up in the uh, foothills. First stage. Let's give it a crack. I'm looking forward to this. This should be good fun. Let's go.
was fantastic. We finally filtered through to a speed where I'm comfortable, where we're having some fun. And uh, I think this is quite a long stage. I think this is almost a 20 kilometer stage uh, by the look of it. So we'll, uh, yeah. Um, that that was a much, much, much faster pace going through there, which that was, was, that that was, was really good. That was much more spirited. It was, it was yeah. a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, oh, it's such a great event. So uh, get ready and we'll uh, start this next group very soon. stop for day one and you know there are a lot of cars here there'd be three or four hundred cars it's been a good fun day so far and uh yeah harry's doing well i think the exhaust is creating a bit of extra back pressure so i'm doing a lot of uh backfires and uh, yeah i think it's messed with the tune slightly but um besides that uh, every now and again it's it, it just needs a bit of a uh, italian tune up and it's doing well but this is so much fun it's such a good event so uh, it's uh, time to get back in a very hot car it's 31 degrees at the moment so uh, we're gonna be warm all right fantastic day we had so much fun i think it was about 10 stages and uh oh just close race and we've got two more days but uh we've pulled up now at the uh street party so they've closed the uh the middle of um one of the main streets in the middle of adelaide goodger street and uh all the cars are coming in and lining up uh we've got the other sides of the lights down here and uh yep harry's here worked well um had lots of backfiring so i'm going to see if i can do a log to this evening on the uh on the pc and see if i can actually retune it and get rid of some of that uh that fuel get it to basically running a little bit leaner but uh had a great day i'm probably blabbling <laughs> i'm blabbering i'm a bit delirious it's a lot it's a lot of uh, a lot of driving but it's well worth it great day I think I'm going to enjoy the street party and I might show you a few of the cars and, uh, and we'll move, uh, we'll continue on. It is the morning of day two at the Adelaide Rally and 
We had a fantastic time yesterday. It was so much fun. I can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, there is uh, a few less cars here today. There seems to be, uh, there was a little bit of attrition. We saw a few that got taken out yesterday that didn't uh, quite survive the um, the day, but uh, I don't think anybody got hurt or anything. Just, just breakdowns and a couple of minor little bingles. So we are sort of regrouping at the moment and, uh, and heading off for another fun day. I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Okay, we were devastated when we saw this yesterday. Uh, damaged on the side of the road, and uh, I thought he'd uh, he'd snapped and lost it. And we were... <laughs> it ends up it was uh, a little bit less dramatic than that. Is the old car handbrake on on the side of the road? Went and put his warning triangles out to let people know. And uh, as the brakes cooled down, the handbrake came off and it rolled back and hit the guardrail. Um, yeah, quite disappointing, but a cool little car. I'm glad to see it's uh, it's it's okay and back in the rally. <laughs> <laughs> all right day two uh first stage we're gonna get on it and have, uh, see if we have some fun i am looking forward to uh, another day i can't believe it's only the start of day two yesterday was epic and uh, we're hoping for more good stuff today fingers crossed everything goes well a little bit wet um looks like we might get a little bit of rain but um we'll hopefully keep it uh on the road and hopefully everything goes smoothly. <laughs> A little bit of like jumps and oh that was um, so that was the uh, the Cudley Creek stage. Wow, that was that was fantastic, fantastic tarmac. Good. Lots of fun. Got the back end a little bit, a little bit a little happy bit. then a couple of times. Yeah, there's and, a bit of a hairpin uh, there and sort of got got the whole car sort of in the air and sort of a bit sideways. It was oh, it was it was great. So much fun. Let's such get it. A, such a good event. <laughs> Let's go.
So, update from the rally. We've pulled out, we're back at uh, my parents' garage. Um, yes, that's the MG I painted a couple of years ago, but they still haven't put back together again yet, but uh, <laughs> we'll move on from that. Basically what was happening is the throttle pedal was completely dropping out uh, like mid-stage, which was dangerous. Uh, so I had no throttle pedal and then um, I had to cycle the key off and on and, uh, and, and to you know, roll start it and it, would, uh, and it would take off again and then it kept dropping out. So we had to call it quits there. It's, uh, yeah, it's been playing up. I took a log and I've had a look at the log and what's, uh, there doesn't seem to be um, a discrepancy in the sensor because basically what there is is there's, uh, on the accelerator pedal sensor, there is two, uh, two sensors in together, there, there's redundancy. And um, what happened when it previously died is one of, those, one of those signals was dropping out. Now, it seems like um, they're both following each other, telling me that there must be probably something to do with my wiring. So there may be a dodgy, uh, yeah, dodgy wire, dodgy plug, uh, something for the power or the ground. So we're gonna go through, check that now, see if we can get that right. We're also gonna try and clean the plugs. I might try and uh, flash a different tune into it. We'll just do a few things to see if we can actually get it working properly and get back in the rally. Um, we've sort of lost the afternoon of day two, but uh, that's okay. We did, we did half, you know, most of the stages this morning. We've done over half the stages. We just, uh, we'll get back into it, hopefully get it running and get it back into it tomorrow morning. Okay, well, it has been um, an hour or two going through. I can't find any signal drop in the throttle position sensor. I've gone through, I've checked all my wiring, all my wiring seems to be good. Um, I've gone through, just, I've cleaned the plugs. I've, I've done a lot of uh, searching. I can't find anything, so we're gonna go and uh, take it out for a ride now and just see if I, it's doing the same thing. And uh, <sighs> intermittent problems are the worst. So I just took Harry for a drive. I did recalibrate the pedal in that um, last couple of hours of working on it, but it is working flawlessly. Nothing is happening. I tried to get as hot as I could, um, really just getting on it, revving it, and trying to emulate the what I would be in a stage, just to keep it in second gear and just revving it up and down and up and down, and nothing happens. So at the moment, perfect. Uh, I, better, it, I hope it's just magically fixed. Those things are never fixed like that. So we'll, do, we'll just see how it goes. We'll go tomorrow and uh, play by ear. See how it, see how it uh, runs. But at the moment, it works. All right, it is the morning of day three of the rally. And um, after all of the work on Harry yesterday afternoon, it seems to be working. I've got down here, everything's running the way it's supposed to. No issues at all. Touch wood. Um, Maybe it only happens when it's really hot. I tried to get it hot yesterday on that uh, test run and nothing happened. So fingers crossed down here, I'm gonna have some fun because this is such a good event. Uh, there are few less cars here today. I think there might've been a little bit of attrition, but not much. I think there's still guys rolling in. Such a good event. If you get the chance, the Adelaide rally is worth a look. What, what happened to the other one? Hey? What happened to the other one? Uh, the water pump drive shear, but the water pump's inside the gearbox. Uh, inside the engine. This thing is awesome. So, uh, this is the owner of the little white Fiat that um, uh, we showed. I showed you yesterday and on the first day. And uh, apparently the water pump died, so uh, he's out of the competition stages, but he's finishing it off in the uh, in a tour with uh, this little thing. And this is awesome. I love it. of the second day and um, Harry's running okay so far there was a little hesitation on the throttle before but um, we'll just see how we go and uh, yeah let's have some fun fingers crossed last day no problems computer we logged it onto the computer computer Not, said it was okay so uh, there's, there's no errors so far so hopefully and this is uh, we're doing Green Hill Road run which uh, is uh, nice fairly high speed and uh, a big um, climb so yeah it should be good 
All right, we we're just about to start the stage and uh, there is somebody stopped on stage. I believe it might be a car fire. Um, know, we'll just see what happens. All right, it looks like the stage is clear. We're back in, so um, we're off. So um, we've had to pull out because it's having the same issue again. Um, I had a look at the log that we did and it seems like there is a bit of discrepancy between the two signals coming from the pedal. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, basically loop those together to use only one of the signals coming from the pedal and that will connect to both inputs in the ECU. So it thinks there's two signals, but they're the same and they won't be different. See if that works. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing once properly <laughs> <laughs> all right well um i actually connected the signal from the pedal and uh because there was a slight discrepancy in the pedal travel between the two signals on the log but they're still mostly following each other and uh, uh i'm now running on one signal and it's still doing it and um i also noticed that when i put it on cruise control and actually because i'm now on a highway i noted that um, it's doing it, it's done it with the cruise control, so the pedal's taken out of the equation, so it's on the throttle motor itself this time. It's, it's either the throttle motor is getting hot, and because uh, it only seems to be doing it when it's hot, and uh, it's having an error there, or the TPS sensor is, is dodgy. So one or the other is not working the way it should, and uh, we're heading back to my parents now to troubleshoot again. All right, so we're back in the uh, shed now at my parents' house and uh, having a look. I'm pretty sure what's happening is something, it's only happening when it gets hot. I don't know whether it's the uh, actual throttle motor itself or the wiring. Uh, there is an issue at this side of the, uh, of the situation. But once it cooled down a little bit on the way home, it was working perfectly again. So uh, yeah, it's, it's something to do with it when it gets hot and I'm having issues that it won't calibrate. I, I, I'm just going to have a bit more a look into it and see what uh, see what's causing the issue because I'm I'm lost at the moment. The solution is we basically put the engine in the bin. And it's not the engine. It's the stupid. It's the jet. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. 
All right, I found something it could have been that may not actually have been a complete electrical issue. Um, basically, this linkage here um, was not locked in. So it could adjust, and maybe it was moving after a long run, um, and meaning that the throttle wasn't doing what it's normally supposed to do in time with the throttle position sensor, which is actually on the end of the individual throttle bodies. So if that makes sense to anyone, that could have been an issue. It may not have anything to do with it, but uh, it was loose and was potential to move and adjust, which would mess things up. So now it's locked off. We're going to go and meet up at the lunch stop and see if it's if it's running fine to the lunch stop we'll do the uh, the afternoon stages and uh, see how it goes let's go all right we're moving all right guys so we cut ahead to the lunch stop and uh, the issues are still happening so we are out of the rally um, we've going to catch up with the guys and uh, and we may uh, drive in and see if we can do the uh, the rest later but we still haven't got the issue sorted I'm gonna have to do something uh, over the next couple of days to get it so I can get back to Sydney so unfortunately that's us done put it in the bin all right we did the lunch stop and uh, and came back the car is still having issues um, it seems to be fine it, it actually drove back from the lunch stop without without one splutter or anything uh, I, I think it seems to be fine when it's cooler the only thing I can think now that is it's probably a sensor that uh, it's probably the the throttle position sensor that's that's died I've checked over the wiring again and yeah I think we've, we've called it now we've decided we're not going to go back and try and do the uh, the city run today uh, just I don't want to push it I need to be able to get it home tomorrow so I've still got a um, so a 1300 kilometer drive to do tomorrow so uh, Fingers crossed that all runs, that all goes well and I don't get stuck in the middle of nowhere. But uh, I'll deal with that if it happens. Um, for now, it's time for a drink. It, it certainly is. Um, I, I still felt like I had a fantastic event. We did almost two thirds of the runs. Uh, and it's been awesome. It's, it's been, been absolutely amazing. So good, so good. We've kept up with all of the no, yeah, you know, the really special sort of, you know, more expensive cars, and we've like kept up, if not, you know, caught up really well and sat on their bumpers. So yeah, um, oh, it was, it was. We Harry performed well when it was working, and when it wasn't, it wasn't. When it so, wasn't, it sat here with the rest of the cars that are not working. Yes, <laughs> which is my parents' sort of uh, uh, bomb yard. It seems to be. <laughs> Um, but uh, alright guys well uh, hopefully you enjoyed that one coming along for the ride and uh, fingers crossed we can do it again next year maybe that next time in the Al Ferrari we'll, uh, we'll see alright have a good one and the Porsche Ooh. <laughs>